of Deep Leaf Organics. We are at 10534 York Road in Cockeysville, right off the Warren Road exit. And we really do have an awesome wellness shop with a lot of stocking stuffers and things that make you less stress, more joy for the holiday season. And I figured we should definitely bring Robin in from Deep Leaf because her products have given me, personally, a lot of joy, and um, so that's why we carry them in the shop. Um, ultimately, because they are part of wellness and part of the whole backdrop of essential oils and aromatherapy, and she really does use um, a lot of really awesome tools um, to construct and create these beautiful products. So, thank you, Robin, thank for you. coming here today, and you've been doing this for how long? Uh, well, if we go back, I started making soap as a hobby in 2011 and okay. didn't make it a business until about two years. So I'm in my second year of really establishing Deep Leaf Organics. Great. And you're an aromatherapist as well? Yes. Because your training goes, that's where you started. Right? Yes. I went to school uh, to be a certified aromatherapist in 2014 when I earned my certification and that changed my whole entire world even from formulating my products. Um, it wasn't just about essential oils and the scent, it was now about the therapeutic properties that they impart when you use them in the various products. Mm -hmm. And so here at the shop, we carry your soap and your bath soaps, which are amazing, um, and your inhalers, and um, a few other products. So start with the soap and tell us about those, because those are pretty amazing. Okay, well I actually have uh, the three different soaps that they're carrying here is ginger tea, which is more of an aromatherapy soap, Velvet Rose, which is also aromatherapy, but more for skin softening properties. It has pink clay and white kaolin clay, so it adds a silken texture to help soften mm -hmm. your skin. And Pure Restore is kind of like that nutrition bar for your skin. So if you have any problem with skin conditions, extremely dry skin, even eczema or psoriasis, sometimes when you're using chemically made products, it can irritate, for the mm -hmm. irritate those skin conditions. So I wanted to create something that nourished your skin while you're bathing because your skin can get dry out when you're in the bath. So each one of the soaps um, really have a different purpose in mind, but they all are very moisturizing. They lather amazingly, um, creamy mm -hmm. lathers and bubbly, and they have wonderful scents depending on the essential oils that were chosen. Yeah, and then some of them go with, like the Velvet Rose also goes with the um, Spa Bath Soap, which is also amazing. Those give a little fizzle, dizzle yes. in the tub. Well, I'll tell you a little bit about how I came up with this. So I call this the Sparkling Spa Bath Soak um, because it's, it's not just a bath salt. It actually has Mediterranean sea salt and Epsom salt in there. Mm -hmm. But I took kind of the two of the best worlds that I consider when I take a bath. If you've ever used a bath bomb, they're kind of fun. Mm -hmm. And I like when you put them in the fizz, they add a little bit of excitement to it. Mm -hmm. So I wanted to take that part of the bath experience, but yet put it into a therapeutic bath. So you still get that fizzing, effervescent effect, and while that's happening, it releases the essential oils into the air. Mm. So when I'm soaking in a bath, I know you use them, yeah. but I lean over while they're fizzing up and then I can breathe in the essential oils. Mm -hmm. So it's really a nice experience. It's not just a regular bath. You're no. really enjoying the therapeutic properties of the salts and the fun part of the effervescent. Yep, exactly, and I love, I use the velvet um, rose, and then this would be great for right now. Anybody have a cold or not feeling so great, um, a breathe bath soap would be amazing right now, along with the breathe inhaler, which is basically like our natural Vicks Vapo Rub, so to speak, yeah. I guess. And you know, you don't really, um, you don't really see these out very much. There's a few people that do offer these, but when I went to school for aromatherapy, when I was learning all about the properties, we were using inhalers to test some of the essential oils. I never used one. And um, aromatherapy is called aroma therapy because the best way to enjoy and benefit from essential oils is through inhalation. So these are the best ways mm -hmm. to be able to enjoy that because it's strictly inhaling the pure essential oils that saturate a cotton wick that are in like those mm -hmm. old mix inhalers. Yeah, yeah. And that's all it is. It's different essential oils that I have chosen for different effects. So for instance, the sleep has lavender. We all know lavender is calming, relaxing, chamomile, and sweet marjoram. Three mm -hmm. powerhouse essential oils to kind of settle you down. Mm -hmm. If you're someone like me that wakes up in the middle of the night, it's great to grab that. And then the Breathe actually was designed, um, I made that for my niece who has awful allergies all year long and it helped her so much that I decided to make it into a product and mm -hmm. then when we decided to offer products here, you wanted to put that in a bath soap which I thought was great because when you're soaking in a bath you're able to detoxify your body some yeah. 
and then be able to breathe the essences of the essential oils to help clear and soothe those mm -hmm. sinuses and even invigorating. Yeah, yeah, really well. And then, so we also have two other really cool products of yours, the After Sun Spray, and I know we are in the deep winter, but this is really good for, it's just this great cooling skin mist. Yeah, it's, uh, it's made with organic aloe vera gel. There's dead sea salt in there, which is a replenisher for the skin. So even though it's for after sun, it really is hydrating. And believe it or not, you can use these type of sprays even in the wintertime mm -hmm. when, when our skin is so dry and flaky, it actually adds back all of the hydration that mm -hmm. you need. But it is great because it has peppermint essential oil, so it has that cooling touch with lavender essential oil, which is a top essential oil to help nourish the burns from sun skin, you know, mm -hmm. from sunburns. And then um, this therapeutic skin mist is called Quick Cool, and it's kind of interesting. A lot of these products were developed for either friends or families because of an issue that they were having. This was originally developed for my sister who was experiencing hot flashes, and um, it evolved into what it is today. And that's what the purpose is for. If you're someone like me who gets hot easily, I'm not going through hot flashes, but I get hot easily, it's great for that. It's mm -hmm. great for the summertime, or if you're dealing with the menopausal um, hot flashes, it has peppermint to cool the skin, rose and geranium, which are two top balancing essential oils for women. So it adds that calming and soothing scent in the air while you're dealing with the stress of a heat flash. Great. Well, thank you so much for coming in today. And we can find you, how can, besides here at Chessicana, um, and again, stocking stuffers and coming in, we have so many things in the shop, and these are just a couple of things that just tip the iceberg, really. <laughs> I mean, these are beautiful products. So where else can people find you? I am on, I have an Etsy shop for those who are Etsy sellers, but um, just type in deepleaforganics.com. That'll take you right to the shop. And all of these products are available as well as some additions to the product line. Great, and then we are going to have um, we're going to have a lot of events coming up in 2019. We're focusing right now on the first quarter, and in February we're going to have Robin back for an event. Um, we're going to tie in some do-it-yourself bath bombs, and she's going to teach us about rose and rose oil and the benefits of rose because that is a self-care, love, month of love and warmth. So we're going to add some rose buds into it somehow or another. We're going to get behind that creative force and figure that one out. But February the 6th is the date that we chose, Wednesday, February 6th. So save the date. You can meet Robin, make your own bath uh, busy. And we'll see you then. Happy holidays to everybody. Bye. Nice seeing everybody.